All right, let's go through the first few examples of mixed practice. All right, so here we are. How do I get off of this? Okay, here we go. Angle one and angle two are complementary angles, which means that when you add angle one and two together, they're going to total 90 degrees. We're gonna use this information to solve questions one through three. If angle one is 60 degrees, find the measure of angle two. Understand that we know that these are complementary, which means that all we're gonna do, and I'm gonna come out of this, I'm actually gonna like copy these three questions, and I'm gonna put them inside of my whiteboard and show you guys how to do this work um, in your notebook. So, and this is like, just goes to show that you don't even need, um, like all, if you know your, if you know your rules with this, um, you need to do very minimal sketching um, with your angles when it's time to calculate. So, angle one and angle two are complementary. And what I always do is annotate. I just annotate that by saying it totals 90 degrees. Just so that I can remember and then the rest of this stuff just makes sense for me. So um, if angle one equals 60 degrees, we can find the measure of angle two. What we do know is we could do 60 plus X equals 90. Um, and when we do that, we're using our algebraic reasoning and our algebraic method to subtract 60 on both sides. I hate the fact that this puts these unnecessary periods right. And when we subtract 60 on both sides, 60 minus 60 cancel out. And then we just have X equals 90 minus 60, which is 30. Boom. Um, and then you would put the 30 as your answer. Question number two says, if two, if angle two is 35 degrees, find the measure of angle one into your answer as a number only. So I'm not gonna put X equals 30, I'm just gonna put 30 for number one. You're gonna do the same thing. Um, and then we're gonna set this up the same way. I'll show you another way to go about this. This is the arithmetic method. We know that the total should be 90, so we're gonna start with 90, and then we're gonna subtract what we know we have, which is the angle, which is the measure of angle two, which is 35. So we can do 90 minus 35, and it's gonna give us angle one. The answer to this question would give us angle one. And basically what that says, 90 minus 35, um, which is 55, you know that 55 is the measure of angle one. Either one of these ways will work. I could even show you how this will work if we did like what we did for number one for number two. So we could say 35 plus angle one equals 90. And then we subtract 35 on this side We subtract 35 on this side of the equal sign. 35 minus 35 cancels out. We now have angle one is equal to 90 minus 35, 90 minus 35, 90 minus 35. Um, We know that 90 minus five is 85, and then 85 minus 30 is 55. So angle one is equal to 55 degrees. Sorry, boom. Okay, and then you guys need to pause this video. If you need to pause the video to get to catch up to these steps, I'm going to erase this in about five, four, three, two, boom, it's gone. And now I'm gonna bring in the last question, which is question number three. If the angle two is equal to 65 degrees, find the measure of angle one. And we're gonna enter our answer as a number only. This works the same way. I can say 65 plus a number that I don't know is going to be equal to 90 because these two angles together total 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna subtract 65 on this side. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side of the equal sign. So I'm gonna subtract 65 over here as well. 
And what I get next is x equals 90 minus 65, which I know is 25. Yes. Let's do that math just to make sure that it's right. 90 minus 25 is 65. Boom. And 65 plus 25 is 90. So um, angle one for question number three is 25. You're just going to put the number. You're not going to put an equal sign. You're not going to put a variable. You're not going to do anything of the sort. Um, I'm actually going to jump down to the second set of questions where the only thing that's different is that the angles are supplementary this time. And instead of them totaling 90 degrees, they now total 180 degrees. I'm not going to do this problem for you. I'm just going to show you how it can be set up. Question number four, ask me if angle one is 40 degrees, find the measure of angle two and to your answer as a number only. We know that this is supplementary, which means that we know that 40 degrees plus that degree that we don't have yet is going to total 180 and not 90 like the ones before. Make sure that you're paying attention to that and you're not like making that really small mistake. It's going to suck when you like get to the end and you're like, dang, man, I knew how to do that, but I wasn't, I was just moving too fast and I didn't pay attention to that really small mistake. So make sure that you're taking your time. Um, so now I have X. Is going to be equal to 180 minus minus 40, which is 140. And the answer that you're going to put in there is 140. Let me stop sharing. You guys are more than capable of doing every single question in this packet and getting all of your points. Looking forward to seeing it. Make sure that you're putting forth your best effort um, because it's just going to benefit you in the long run. All right. Get to it. Peace.